Good mid-afternoon. We have some breaking news here at 3.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. I appreciate everybody who joined the live stream over on Twitch. YouTube was having some technical difficulties, so we've moved it over to YouTube or onto Twitch, and it's been spectacular. I appreciate everybody who was over there. Um, but Jerome Powell, hawkish regards, as we watched the live press conference together, very hawkish. He said that he's not worried about quantitative tightening. He'd much rather over-tighten than uh, ease too much here. He's definitely afraid of hyperinflation by the way he talked. He bold-faced, flat-out lied to us right at the end of the press conference, which was unnecessary, and the markets did not like it, I don't think, because it reversed immediately right when he said it. But he said that the U.S. economy is strong, but at the same time, they're doing quantitative tightening. In a strong economy, you don't do quantitative tightening. The amount of bullshit that this guy spews out to us and the amount of nimwits and jabronis that listen and that believe it, it's mind boggling. In a strong economy, you have quantitative easing. You have money to pour into the markets because it's a strong economy. In a weak economy, you tighten the quantitative tightening because you have no money to push in because you can't afford to print more money. That's what's going on right now. He also raised rates by 75 basis points. The Fed did. But he was very hawkish. Very hawkish. And the fact is, is he very well might have created a bear market. And all signs are pointing to a possible bear trap. And you could possibly get a recovery pump before... The elections here in the USA, so it's very dicey here. So pay attention, and I implore you to not listen to some shitbag that's only interested in your views. Watch somebody who's paying attention to the market, that understands not only crypto, not only monetary policy, but also understands the precious metals markets as well. You need somebody who understands all three. Don't listen to some dimwit. Who is just regurgitating the other dimwits, but doesn't understand what they're talking about. I see so many people and it's embarrassing because it gives us a bad look in the XRP community and I'm fucking sick of it. If you don't like my language, that's too bad because I'm telling you the truth and you need to hear it. The reason why they always look down at us on the XRP community is because we don't understand what's really going on. Everybody still regurgitates the same bullshit narrative that XRP needs to be had because of its cross-border payments. Every shit coin that goes from over a border is technically going cross borders. So that is not why you need to own XRP. The reason you need to own XRP is for the ODL, the on-demand liquidity, and I'll continue to say it. The reason you need to own silver is for your intrinsic, val your intrinsic value in your portfolio. When the US dollar is overinflated, you want to continue to buy silver. Gold too, but silver when it's as high as the ratio is right now. It's currently at just over 84.6 to 1. Because then when the US dollar inevitably crashes, right now it's just over almost at 112 again. We'll take a look at that after. But when that comes crashing down, you want to have it in your precious metals, silver especially, because that goes up. The biggest, dirtiest, dark lie is that precious metals, gold and silver especially, the value is diminishing. That is such a horde of horse shit, a load of shit. Somebody needs to tell you the truth. There's a few people that will, but you're listening to me. Gold and silver's price is only coming down because the U.S. dollar is overinflated. Which means if I go to Canada or anywhere else, everything's a lot cheaper for me because our dollar's overinflated. It's no different than when you buy bullion. The gold and silver might seem cheaper, but if I take that same ounce of gold or silver... To another country, it's likely at all-time highs because of the defailing of their money. Another thing Jerome Powell said, which he's obviously getting the message now, that many, many countries now are trying to create their own source. Instead of the U.S. dollar, they're trying to create their own way, whether being a new set of a gold standard or whatever. New rubles are being created. And so, there's just a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. China's creating its own thing. So Powell actually said today we need to do our best to tighten because or we need to be on our best behavior however he phrased it 
because it's the world, everybody else around the world is being affected basically by it and their money's being diminished. So he's well aware that his act and this bullshit we're perpetrating is hurting the rest of the world. And he knows he needs to do something so that our dollar doesn't continue to push theirs down because the rest of the world is struggling because of how the U.S. dollar is so overinflated. And there's no end in sight here, folks. Not yet. So I'm going to play the intro, and we have a lot of stuff to get to. And while I'm playing this intro, hit that motherfucking like button. I just gave you five and a half minutes of epic audio. Good evening, or good mid-afternoon, 3.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. Moments after, Jerome Powell goes very hawkish. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. As Michigan, the Wolverines got shafted in the first college football playoff, and they're number five. But that's okay. So, looking at the market. What's going on? Well, we've got the U.S. dollar currency index revving back up. Unfortunately, I was forced to sell B2 gold while I was live on the air at $3.08 approximately because of the hawkishness. And then I realized that the U.S. dollar is about to pump and you can't have your gold and silver mining stocks while that's happening. God forbid. So the market completely did the wrong thing in the precious metals market, which it's done and I have a history of. So I'm watching it, and as of right now, I just saved almost over 7%. If I were to buy it back, I can buy 7% more. My average price was $2.99 after a couple purchases. I sold it at $3.08, so now I can buy it back right now at $2.94. But we'll see what happens. Um, as I don't think this move is done now, because as you can see, it's reversed back. And now we're going to have to see what the U.S. dollar does, unfortunately. The U.S. dollar is almost over 112 again. It's completely reversed. And in the two-hour time frame, it looks very bullish. It had a very bullish pull down as well to get some liquidity. And now it's completely reversed tracks. And now it looks to be on its way up, even if it gets rejected, up to 113 spot. 2.9 is what I think is going on in the market right now. The U.S. 10-year yield all of a sudden is up 3.6 basis points, or 0.89% to 4 spot, 0.82. If you remember this morning, it quickly reversed about... Mm, it was crazy where it was at this morning. Where was it at? Second. We were down to about three, well, this afternoon too, but 3.97%. So, you know, we've had a hell of a rally. We're up 11 basis points since the morning low. This is a vile house swing. That means a bunch of money went into the bond market before coming right back out. Crude oil is up 0.75% or 66 cents a barrel, up to 88 spot 63. Got PBR struggling down better than 2%. Gold silver ratio is up 1.35%. Buy your silver. Don't worry about how much it is per ounce. Worry about what's going on. Worry about the differential in the gold silver chart. Understand that you could be banking free silver at the end of this and buy your gold on that silver that you bought now. Not even have to use any more of your dollar. That's the point, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to teach you a hack. This is a life hack when it comes to precious metals. When the ratio is where it's at, let's just say 85 to 1 today. We buy 85 ounces at this ratio or greater. We take those 85 ounces when it's at 32 ounces or when it gets back to 11. Because I think one day it's going to be 3 to 1. But let's just say it's 35 to 1. You take 35 ounces out of that 85 you still have 50 ounces of that silver. The same silver you just bought. Now go try to buy one ounce of gold. For those uh, same amount of silver, it's not going to happen. You have to do it when the ratio is like that. So now you send them over 35 ounces of silver. They give you an ounce of gold. You still have 50 ounces of silver. You're storing your value in silver 
And then he just bought some gold with that silver on the differential cut by two thirds. Same logic applies if you want to get rid of your gold when the silver ratio goes crazy the other way. And it's just a game back and forth and you just keep escalating your wealth. That's what a lot of the rich people do. That's a secret. It's a big secret. Mike Maloney taught me it over a decade ago. I just started putting it into use four or five years ago. I was a piss poor broke man 10 years ago, but I was still listening, absorbing knowledge. If you're poor out there, but you're trying to absorb the knowledge, I'm here for you. There's a lot of others here. You just got to understand, I'm a very wise man. I love precious metals, but I'm not an idiot. And I even showed everybody live on air how to get rid of B2 gold the way I did right before the collapse. I gave it a chance. I didn't sell it at 315 or 321, but at 308, when I seen that it reversed and what he was saying in the meeting, I said, it's time. And I'm glad I did. Now it's just, where do you buy in? Because that's a gigantic M. And I also knew we had bad earnings. Down 446,000, which isn't terrible. That's nothing. 0 0.11. The big surprise, was, or the revenue was fine. It was barely down, which was expected because the prices of precious metals are down as the U.S. dollar is inflated. What was a bit of a surprise was the earnings. They were expecting a 0.03. It came at 0 0.049, which is down 0 0.019 or 38.6%. So they missed by quite a bit. But I can't imagine how they were expecting so much earnings with the way it is right now. So that's a double-edged sword. And that's why I said, you know, it's my time to bail just for now until we get down a little bit. And right now I can get over 7% more. But putting no more money. So I understand how to micromanage the market better than anybody. XRP is at 45.24. I know this has been an extremely long update, but it's one you needed to hear. Bitcoin is down 1.16% to 20,240. My voice is all talked out because I was just on a live for an hour and seven minutes as well. But I'm trying to keep you informed. I would appreciate you hitting that like button. But more than that, I would appreciate one person joining Tom's Army today. Make my day for being here for you. You can even send a super thanks right in the... I'll show you at the end when I show you how to do the cryptos. If you want to join me on the exchange on Maxi or BitGet or Uphold. They all have their own purpose. It's a simple way to support the show. I'm not going to sit here for 45 minutes telling you know how to click my shit link or be a douchebag and say it 17 times in 7 minutes. I show you at the very end. Simple in and out. Because my belief is if you're watching until the end, you obviously care. If you're watching until right now, please tell me the number 776 in the comments. 776. Nothing more, nothing less. For the ones who are watching at the end, there's a reason why I'm collecting these numbers. And you only know if you're watching until the end. At one point, I'm going to be doing a drawing. But I'm not going to tell you when. I'm not going to tell you what. And I'm not going to tell you where or how. I'm just going to do it. I'm doing an analytical approach to this one. And I want to see who the true watchers are. So you have to be here in the end. The more times you're at the end of the video and I say to do a number, the bigger chance you're going to have to win whatever that said prize is going to be. And that doesn't mean it could be crypto. It could be money, it could be merchandise, it could be memorabilia, it could be anything, whatever I desire. And if that doesn't fit, I don't want to hear any questions about it or you're disqualified in the comments. Because the only people who should know about it are the ones who are going to stay here until the end. And you have to stay here until the end because you want to be, not because you're going to get something. Support level on Bitcoin is 20,116. If we break the 200 day, you would expect us to come back down to that 19,325. And just like on XRP, how we talked, I can make this much, much easier for you. And then I have to go after we look at the XRP chart, which I know we looked at it once, but I want to just clarify it right before I leave. So with Bitcoin, if you want to long or short it, support or resistance one, support one, resistance two, support two. All this is support still, but you've already verified the pattern. So if you got resistance, short it, long it, short it. Now you're technically longing it until you get up here. Now that's where the question is, though. A lot of people, they won't short it or long it the entire way. So now, does it come here and is this a bull flag that plays through? Or are we going to come down here for a bottom again? Because we've done it multiple times. Up, down, up, down. Can we do that? We'll see.
But that's what we're looking at with Bitcoin. Those are your options. And then with XRP, because I really have to go. We've already shown you, I've already shown you the uh, macro view and the micro. This is the micro pattern that's forming right now. That'll give you a fucking stroke if you look at that all day. Or try to trade it. Right now we're back within the descending triangle and we're back within a very key level here. So we're going to watch to see if this can further drop down and if we put it into about the the two hour time frame, which is my favorite time frame when you go into the longer time frames. You can very clearly see that we got rejected on the push up and now it looks like we're going to come down for further liquidity. I don't know if we're going to make it all the way back down to 44.15, but it seems to behoove us not to at least come to this 44.93. Actually, we came pretty close, didn't we? 45.10. But we're going to have to watch how, most importantly, the U.S. dollar currency index is flirting. And it's all the way up to 112 plus. So we're going to see what happens here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you stuck around until the end, I greatly appreciate you. And if you want to uh, show me some support or if you want to join me on the uh, crypto exchanges and trade with me, you can join me right there on Maxi. You can buy your XRP IOTA and any other ISO coin. With no VPN, no spot fees, and no KYC needed, futures trade allowed for U.S. users as well. Up to 200x leverage. You can join Tom's Army. Just click on the hashtag Tom's Army. It'll send you right there for $9.99 a month. You get the exclusive telegram and the exclusive emoji badges, which, yes, in month one is me being abducted by aliens. In month two is Dusty's Outhouse Crypto News because it sure is shit over there. And so on. Cash App, Venmo, PayPal is not on there anymore as you can see because until they take that policy out i'm not using them i understand venmo's owned by them but it's not a policy yet so save the bullshit big yet love it i still trade on it actively if you're on there continue trading hopefully one day they'll reverse the policy and they'll let new registrations happen there but i still like big yet um I, it's such a good user friendly platform but unfortunately their policies changed and then uphold is my favorite most trusted it has my baby DGB on it is the most important thing. So join me over there. It's an easy, easy way to show me that support. If you don't like my style, we have an old saying here. Get with it or get the fuck out.